Hello everyone. Welcome to Analytics with Asmi. Whether you are a job seeker preparing for the interview or a professional aiming to meet the client requirements, it's important not only to understand the technical aspect of Power BI but also be prepared to tackle real world challenges. So in today's video, we are diving deep into another scenario based question with solution in Power BI. I will walk you through step by step solution used to address these challenges effectively. But before moving ahead, make sure to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, so you won't miss out our valuable content. All right, let's get started. So the scenario here given is as you have been provided with a data set containing sales data for different months, and the task is to create a monthly sales chart using a Power BI. So here you have a data set containing a sales given and the month is given. And the requirement here is the sequence of the month in the chart should follow the financial year of a US state. So if you don't know when the US state financial year start, it starts from October and ends in September. Means first month is October and twelfth month is September. So here our goal is to create a chart that visually represents the monthly sales data while adhering to this financial year sequence. Means in our line chart. October should be the first month and September should be the twelfth month, last month. Okay, and the step here we are going to follow is the step one is import the data. We will import the data first. Then step two will be we will create a line chart. But the line chart is not in our financial year. Okay, U.S. state financial year. So for that. first we will create a date table so whenever we have to work with the financial years we have to create a date table it's very important so we will create a date table then we will create a relationship we will join that date table to our main table then in step 5 we will do some dax calculations we will use here the if logical function and finally in step 6 we will sort by a new column so we will see all these step by step so as per the requirement the sequence of our month should be october should be the first month november should be the second month december should be the third and the last month twelfth month should be september okay so our sequence will start from october to september so let's see on the chart so first step is to import a data and then we will create a line chart so we will import data will go to the date date data and here here we will import a excel file so here i will import the sales data now here in the navigator you can see our data is there we will select this and we will load this once you load your data now you can see here in a data pane you you can see all the columns here right now we will create a line chart so for that we will select our line chart okay and here we want month month wise sales okay so we will select month uh, sales and here we will select date so here you want monthly sales so we will delete other things okay now here you can see month wise sales but here the month is starting from january and ending in december but as per the requirement we are we want sequence like the first month should be october and the last month should be september so now the third step is we will create a date table so for that you have to go to the data view here now here you go to the new table right here we will give name of the table as a date table okay and here we will use a dax function as a calendar okay so this is a calendar function and you are here you can see you you need two parameters start date and end date so start date will be a minimum of our order date so we will take this order date okay bracket complete 
comma and end date is the maximum of a order date so we'll put max we'll select that max okay and again we'll select the table and in table we will take the order date okay so we want the maximum date from this order date so we'll complete the bracket and again we'll complete the bracket and hit enter yeah now here you can see the date is been created the first date is 1 3 2020 and the last date is 30 12 2023 okay so it's our date table is created once we create our date table we will mark it as a date table this is very important step because otherwise our uh, order date table will get considered so we have to say that we have to consider while making the visuals we have to say that you have to use this date table for the calculations so here once you click that you have to use this drop drop down and you have to select this date okay and click okay right now next step is to create a relationship so now what we will do we will create a relationship now this order date we will move here we will drag here now you can here you can see one too many relationship is created okay so for one date you have many dates in this order date so that's why we are having here one too many relationship so now this step is also done so what we have done so first step we have done import data then second step create a line chart that we did then we have created a date table as well we will have created a relationship so now we have to do some DAX calculation so before that we have to create two new columns in this date table first is year column then month column and month number column so we will create it one by one now we will create few columns in this date table so first column will be year column so to extract year from this date column what we will do we will go to the new column and here we will write year as we want year as the name of the column and here we will write year function okay and in year you have to put a date so we will put our date table date okay so if you scroll upside you here you can see date table date just complete the bracket and hit enter now you can see the year is extracted from this date table now next column what we are going to create is month name okay so for that again we will write the name of a column as a month here and we will use here as we need a name of a column we will use here format function okay is equal to format okay select this format here the parameters are value and format so value will be our date table again date table date we will take this comma and format we will give in inverted comma 4 times m when we will give the 4 times m it will give the full name of a month if we want just the three letters then we we should write three m's only okay here we want a full name that's why we are putting in inverted comma 4m and we will complete the bracket and hit enter now you can see the january february all months are extracted now next next column we are going to create is month number okay so for that we will use we will write the name of a column as a month number is equal to and the function we are going to use here is month only month okay and here we have to just put one parameter it is a date so we'll put our date table date again as simple as that so we'll put here and hit enter yeah 
so now month number is extracted from this date column now here you can see for january the month number is 1 for february it's 2 for march it's 3 and for december it must be a 12 okay so but the requirement is our october month should come as a first number okay and the September should be the last number. So for that we will create here a new column which is called as physical number, physical number and we will create again a new column and we will use there a if logical function for creating that physical number column. So let's see how we can create it. Now as per the requirement we want our sequence of a month as per a physical month means our month should start from October and ends in September. So we will create here new column as a fiscal number and we will write here if logical condition. Okay, so I am writing fiscal number. First I will write the if logical condition then I will explain it. Okay, so I am writing if, so this is if logical function. We have three parameters here, logical test, if it is true and if it is false. So first we will write the logical test if our month number, okay month number is greater than 9 then our true condition is then the month number should subtract minus 9 okay and if it is false then our month number should subtract minus 3 this is our logical condition hit enter yeah now here we got it fiscal number but it's in negative so for that what we will do to make it positive we will here we will write it plus 3 instead of minus 3 yeah now you can see here the, uh, our october num month august september and this is october now our october is the first month okay then november is the second and september is the 12th now we will understand how we have created this logical condition so as you can see we have used a if logical condition in a tax calculation to get the answer so what we have done if our month number okay so these are the month number is greater than 9 because we want it from October October is a 10th so we have written if our month number is greater than 9 then we should do minus 9 okay so 10 minus 9 is equal to 1 this is the October 11 minus 9 is equal to 2 November and 12 minus 9 is equal to 3 December okay so this is a true condition but if it is false if our month number less than 9 means it is September August July okay so that time you have to add plus 3 okay so if our month number less than 9 so if it is 9 9 plus 3 is 12 so that is September month 8 plus 3 11 August 7 plus 3 10 that is July so that's where we have written the logical condition so our condition was if our month number is greater than 9 then we should do minus 3 minus 9 and if it is less than 9 then we should do plus 3 to get a right fiscal number hope you understood it now now once it is done now the final step is we will sort it with our fiscal number we will sort the column with the fiscal number so again we will go to the view and we will go to the new page here we will create again a line chart okay so line chart we will take here month and in sales we will take sales okay so here we got it now what we will do we will go to this we click this month and we will sort it by fiscal number so for first it was month now it will go and uh, now we will select this fiscal number a newly created column once this is done now you can see here it is been sorted with a fiscal number yeah here you can see october november December let's see either yeah it is by month and sort by ascending order yeah now you can see here 
first month is october and our last month is september okay now it is sorted as per the fiscal month now if you uh, have uh, another uh, requirement is like if you want to sort as per the indian fiscal month so you know that the indian fiscal month starts from april okay so what we can do here so we can write here if the our month number is greater than 3 so if greater than 3 means it will be april may june okay so if it's a month number greater than 3 it's greater than march then our month number should minus do minus 3 and and if it is a false then it should add plus 9 okay now we'll hit enter here yes now you can see here our first month is april and last month is march so you can create the fiscal number column like this as per your requirement if it is for india if it is for us or if it, it is for south africa you can change it accordingly now hope you understood how to create a fiscal month sequence as per your requirement. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.